Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome back to Synth Stuff. Today, we're going to be talking about performance problems on the Montage ESP Soft Synth. Coming up. I've had so many people write to me and say, hey, I have problems with the Montage M ESP Soft plug-in synthesizer, and the problem is with performance and dropouts. They can't get it to work, and if they use more than a couple of instruments, it just drops out and is not usable for them. They asked if I'd have a look and do a video on it, and I am going to do that. However, my testing is not going to be something I think you want to hear. I will say that my computer is a fairly powerful one. I have a AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 16 core processor and it uh, is hyper-threaded, so I have 32 working cores, but 16 core processor. It's a fairly powerful machine. I also have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 GPU in this machine as well. Not a super powerful GPU, but I do have that GPU in here, and it does use that in terms of Cubase and the Montage ESP. What it actually uses that GPU for, I'm not entirely sure, but I can definitely see that it is being used when I bring up the soft synth, actually when I bring up Cubase in general. So Cubase is doing something with the GPU and so is the soft synth. And I suspect the soft synth is running within the Cubase process. So it's routing some of its work to the GPUs. I, I can't say that I understand how or why that's happening, but I can definitely say that the GPU is active and I do see GPU usage increase when I load it up with the ESP. I do see CPU go up as well. I will say that I did get it to the point where it will drop out, but I had it heavily loaded, and I'll demonstrate that to you. In order to get that to happen, I also have 64 gigabytes of RAM. The ESP is memory hungry, so if you want a lot of instances of it doing things, then it will require some of that memory. Other qualifiers is I do have a screen capture application running on this computer as I'm running this so that you can actually see what it is that I'm doing. That definitely uses up some bandwidth and will affect the overall testing. But if I do see differences, then I will tell you that I'm seeing differences that are going to be attributable to that screen capture program. So let's do some real world testing with ESP and see what it looks like when we load down the computer with it. Here's the test project I've set up. I've set up three different instances of the ESP. You can see I've got one that is all AWM2 sounds and they are all just copies of the init. Uh, if you see over on here, each of these sounds only has a single element. So that is fairly simple. And then on FMX, I have another one, another instance set up that is 8FMX. They are a very simple init, so that is a single operator, so nothing really complex there. And then I have also 8ANX ANX set up. And again, that's an init with only one of the, the oscillators sounding. If you look at the settings for these, I do have it set up for the maximum 128 polyphony for AWM2 and FMX and 16 for ANX. Uh, that is normal for this, and we have a 4 gigabyte buffer. So we'll close that up. I'm going to disable both FMX and ANX for now. So we're just looking at the AWM2. What I've done is I set up uh, four bars of just nothing here. I've got an arpeggio playing, so I've got it playing through uh, all the, the scale here, and then it's doing the same thing again with a sustain uh, pedal on. So if you hear that... And I actually have the, the volume turned down on this because when we start getting multiple instances, it gets pretty loud. So let's have a look and we can see that in down here in the CPU, our CPU is hovering at about 5% and our GPU is sitting at about 30%, which is reasonably high. And if I disable or mute this instance, we're gonna see if the GPU goes down. It, does not let's mute this or disable this track so now we have no instances of esp running and i think we're going to see the gpu does drop down or at least should drop down which is what i was seeing before the cpu is down to three percent gpu is still hovering at about 26 30 33 percent so it's there's something going on with the gpu there oh you know what it is it's my screen recorder my screen recorder is is using up gpu so 
yeah, that's that's going to skew what we're seeing on the GPU. But you can see on the CPU that it is at 3%. So let's re-enable the first AWM2 instance. And I'm not going to open this up because that may use up more CPU. So I'm going to leave it closed while we run the first test. And we can, if we watch, we can see that the, the memory is at 12.8. We've got 5% CPU in the GPU is sitting at about 20 or 30, 27 or 30. So let's just start running this. The CPU is now up to five where it was two before there's six. So you can see it's, it's using a little bit. GPU is really not being affected at all. All right, let's enable FMX and we'll disable AWM2. Run the same test again. Same results, it's CPUs at four or 5%, GPU is really unaffected. Let's do the same thing again. We will disable this one and enable ANX, which I think is the most processor intensive of the three. If we run that one, once again, we're only seeing 5%. So really no real effect. I will say that having the ESP actually activated, like it, it is possible to play it right now. If I, if it, it is listening from MIDI and if there is MIDI to be played, it will play it. And if I disable this track, you can see the CPU is sitting at four or five and now it drops down. And the reason for that is that it, like the montage, it is, when it, when you have this, let me open this back up here again. If I open up AWM2, you'll see that it's got all the stuff. It's got all the reverb. It's got all the effects. All this stuff is running all the time. So if there's any sound that comes in here, including something, a sound coming in from an external input, it's actually going to play that through the reverb, which is active. And for that to be active means that it has to be using CPU all the time. Even when it's not making any sound, it's going to use some of that CPU for all the background stuff, all the filters, all the, the reverb, all the other effects. So it is going to use some CPU just by virtue of the fact that it is active and running. So now we're going to enable these other two tracks. So we're gonna have three of these running at once one of each type and each of these has eight individual parts. Each of those parts has a single element or voice playing. So this means we have 24 voices playing at once. And then in the second part, we have the sustain on. So we have many, many more voices playing at once because it's going to be playing all these and sustaining them with the exception of the ANX, which can only play 16 at a time. So once it gets to 16, it's gonna start doing note stealing. So we can see our CPU is now up at 7%. Really, the GPU is not seeing much difference at all. Okay, I saw a little peak of the CPU at nine. Let's do a duplication of these. So I'm gonna duplicate these tracks. Now we have six instead of three. Let's run that again. You can see the memory is up to about 16 gigabytes now. CPU is up to 11. GPU really seems no difference at all, really. All right, let's do it again. Let's duplicate and double once more. So that was six tracks. Now we're gonna be at 12. All right, so now we have 12 open. You can see the memory has gone up to 19 gigabytes. Uh, it is very memory hungry because it has, remember it has to load all the waveform data in there along with everything else. So let's run 12 tracks at once. And remember that's eight voices per each of these. We have 12 of those, which means we're gonna be hearing 96 voices at the same time here. And then in the second half, we're gonna be running many, many times that because we have that sustained. So let's run that. All right, CPU is only sitting at 21%, okay. Up in the sustained part, we got up as high as 21. All right, well, that was 12 instances. Let's double that. You know, that's, that's pushing it. Let's do, uh, let's bump up from 12 to 18. So. All right, so now we have 18 instances. We have six of each, six AWM, six FMX, six ANX. 
and we are sitting at 12% just idle. Remember, we're running the reverb and all the stuff for all those different ones, 22.8 gigabytes rather. And uh, again, GPU sitting there, 33%, which is just my screen recorder. So let's play. 20%. All right, CPU hit a peak there at 25%. It's hardly breathing hard. So let's let's duplicate this to 36. That's This is gonna take it a minute to figure out how to do because it's a lot of memory to shuffle around. As you can see, the memory is definitely going up. All right, it's done. We've got 36 instances. That is 288 voices playing per note. And then of course, that's gonna go exponential once we hit the second part. So we're gonna hit th literally thousands of notes playing at once. Uh, if we see a problem here, I, I would not be surprised. Sitting idle, the CPU is hovering around 18, 19, 20%. And we're at 33 gigabytes out of my 64. The NVIDIA GPU is still sitting at uh, about 30%. So let's hit play on this. All right, I saw a peak there of 47%. Uh, the CPU was definitely working hard. The GPU was not touched at all. It's interesting that the GPU is not being used at all here because when I did my testing before, the GPU was definitely being used when I was running multiple instances like this. I suspect that maybe my screen recorder has taken over the GPU and made it not available to Cubase, which, uh, is interesting, but uh, at least it takes that out of the equation for this test. I don't know if we can just keep increasing this. Uh, I don't want to double that again. Um, let's see, one. Okay, that brings us up to 45 tracks. All right. Sitting idle at 33%, memories at 37 gigs. I saw 79 there for a brief instant, uh, which is probably, we're getting pretty close to the maximum there. So let's let's do the same thing again. We'll do one, two, three of the AWMs, one, two, three of the FMXs, and one, two, three of ANXs, and duplicate those. We're definitely giving my, my processor a workout now. We're approaching CPU and memory limits. Okay, so we're now at 54 tracks. That means for each one of these notes in the first bars here, in the first instance of the arpeggio, we are playing 432 notes. And then on the second part, we're literally thousands and thousands of notes at the same time. Sitting idle, we're at 41%. Memory's at 42%. GPU still at 28. Let's play this. Oh, we had a problem there. Yeah, something definitely happened there. I didn't see a dropout. I didn't see any error messages. I saw a peak of 87% and then something went wrong there. I don't know if that was the ESP or if that was Cubase or something happened in there, but it is not able to handle thousands and thousands and thousands of notes at the same time. Yeah, it ran out of something there for sure. I mean, that's this is a ridiculous test. You would never use this many instances of ESP, but the fact that it can do it is pretty impressive and I think says a lot to all the people that are reporting issues with dropouts and problems with ESP and not being able to run even a single patch, I think is probably gonna be your computer rather than the problem with ESP. ESP needs modern hardware in order to run efficiently, apparently, and I do have modern hardware that's that's fairly powerful with a fairly powerful processor. And obviously as a result, I'm able to run many, many instances of ESP at the same time. 
even with the sustain pedal on, just play, you know, sounding thousands and thousands of notes at the same time. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this type of video, click like, subscribe to the channel, helps me out when you do that. Thanks for watching.